The question is, how hard are you both willing to fight your addictions? Our addictions. <laughs> yeah, you too. Liz might have it easier. Her addiction's tangible. But you, brother, that need for trouble? That's up here. You sure he didn't try and follow you? He wasn't home. That's why I waited to call you. Где таблетки, которые я оставил под раковиной? Ну, я думала, они тебе больше не нужны. Думала, что? Ты не помнишь нас разговор, который мы провели в тот день, когда я ушел? Конечно, ты не помнишь, ёбана наркомага. Я сказал, это не для тебя, чтобы сидеть без дела и кайфовать. Ты закрыл меня в этом доме на две недели, что я даже со собственный двор выйти не могу. Что мне оставалось делать? Ну, если нас кто-то увидит, ты понимаешь, да, что случится? Так это тебе нужно было думать, у кого красть. И вообще, тебе уже давно пора было их убить. Я тебе сказал, когда время придет, будет сделано. Уже куча времени прошло. Знаешь, раньше тебя все боялись. А что теперь? Что теперь? А теперь... Ты слабый. Воздушная сука. Тебя этого нет в тебе. I need you to pick me up before I do something bad. Are you high right now? Are you high when you guys fought? No. You've just been shoving pills down your throat all week, apparently. Look, I'm only going to play a shoulder to lean on so many times, okay? Don't leave me. We've been through this. Get your shit together. Get it together fast. Look, you can stay for the weekend, but come Monday, I'm dropping you off somewhere to get clean. Yo! Can you give me some pills now? I'm gonna get clean. I promise. I'll start on Monday. And I won't ask you anymore. I think you should use this time wisely. Shit. I'm halfway through school. I just need something to take the edge off for now. Edge off of what? Studying? The edge of fucking these filthy ass truck drivers every night. What do you think? Why don't you get a real job? There's something with a little less edge to take off. I mean, I'm getting out. This is my last bag, so when it's done, I'm done too. <laughs> wow. So I guess I'm gonna have to pay full price somewhere else, huh? In your line of work, do you really pay full price for anything? 
<laughs> so, uh, why the change of heart? Oh, it's that girl. The Russian you're always going on about. I don't know how you do it. Do what, exactly? You're like a sponge. You suck up all the pain from your customers, which you are definitely in the wrong line of work for that. Thanks for the ride. Don't go back over there. These guys are gonna be looking everywhere for this bag. That's my main area. Where the hell else am I gonna go? I don't know. But maybe it really is time for a new career. It's not that simple. I don't just do it for myself. My mother's disabled and you know the story about my father. You said you're halfway through school, right? Yes. Take this money, get clean, and get yourself a real job before you end up like that asshole in the alley. Oh my god. Get out of here. Thank you so much. <laughs> What's the deal with her anyway? Are you in love with her? <laughs> Cause it sounds like she has some sort of like Stockholm Syndrome shit or something. She's just an old customer who, like yourself, used to have a lot of potential before she got caught up in this shit. I see. So, you're really quitting this? This world is going to hell in a handbasket, and I'm starting to realize that maybe I might be a part of that problem. <laughs> Get out of here before I change my mind about that gift. Okay. What is this for? I filmed it last night. Chop shop over in Glendale. Chop shop in Glendale. What are you gonna do? What we're gonna do is get you to help clean. Okay. It's hard to breathe. Hey. Sergey has been calling all night. And? No, I'm not going back. So, what would happen after I get better? 
Will it take care of me? First, show me you can stay off this shit for good. Okay? Okay. But... Can you give me something for now? Jesus Please, just Jesus for now. Christ, Liz. Do you have something to say? Trusty God. I think you should rest. Give me the pill. Just give me the pill. Give me the fucking pill. Look, I know it's rough right now. Why are you mad at me? Just why? He wants me, right? But you can fuck me! Just give me the pill! I wanna stay with you! I'm not going home anyway! Liz! Relax. Relax. Yo. Everything all right? All right, I'll be there. Don't leave me. I gotta handle something. I'll be back. going on. I need another favor. Remember Finnegan? Please don't tell me you're still selling to those guys, Leo. Listen, I had no fucking choice, man. Don't look at me like that, right? Remember, everything I know about this game I learned from you, Mr. High Horse. I told you the Finnegan situation was temporary. Sell him a few pounds, you're done with it, and you go back to the small scale stuff. And live life like some peasant? Sell nickel bags on the corner? Fuck that. Wholesale's key, wasn't that your motto? How was I cheating you anyway? Selling little increments of pills throughout the day like some college jack-off? Don't do it. Do not do it. They're here for me. I just gotta fix this situation and no one needs to get into anything, all right? Look, I got into it with Finnegan. Regular delivery, business as usual. Three hours later, I get a call. Apparently, the new plug I got wound up being a fucking crab, man. A nasty fucking serpent. Gave me a mixture of real fucking counterfeit opioids. Then what do you want me to do? Well, spot me something, man. Remember who's the one who saved you back in Vallejo when hecking those boys put money on your head, huh? Whose idea was it? Better yet, we wouldn't even be here. You know where heck is today? Taking a fucking dirt nap, man. Taking a fucking dirt nap. We can move back to Vallejo any day. Not a fucking ounce of trouble. Who did that for you, huh? We said if we move to LA, nothing changes. Nothing. Come on, man. I know you got it. Help me out. Is that enough to fix your situation? Maybe. They said it's almost enough. They need something to cover the gap.
want to pay you back every fucking dollar an ounce. I swear to God. Nah, we're good. I'm done selling and I'm done with you. Consider this a reimbursement for everything you hold over my fucking head. You know there's no price for blood, right? And I put blood for you. Don't you ever fucking forget that? Don't you forget there's a difference between righteous blood spilt and being a fucking idiot. Don't talk to me like I'm one of your little fucking customers, all right? I'm all through with your personal philosophy. What are you on? Oh, the judge is back. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. All hail the fucking judge. You finished? I bet if I were some skinny little Russian bitch, you would have helped me in a heartbeat. Am I all right? Fuck you. What am I high on? You want to judge? I'll give you something to judge. Been doing blow all fucking morning. What the fuck do you care? I never knew it got this bad, man. You sell drugs with one hand and judge with the other. That's why word around the street is you and that little blonde whore are toast. Who told you that? Who fucking told you that? Wouldn't you like to know? Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Okay, look. You got another stack to spare? Help me out, man. Help me get on my fucking feet, man. Throw me another stack, and I'll tell you who's been talking. It's your stack. Master! Ah! Fuck, man! <sighs> Fuck, man! Take your stack! My brother's keeper, huh? Brothers keep the fuck up! Should you get some rest? Look, don't even ask. I don't have everything left. Some crazy shit just happened. I'm sorry. What? Forgive me. Forgive you? What the fuck are you talking about? I told you don't leave me. I think you have something that belongs to me. That little bag you found. Someone very stupid thought it would be a good idea to steal it from my place of business. As you saw, they were handled appropriately. Now I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. You and that whore leave with something that didn't belong to you. I said, whoever this guy is, has some pair of balls. But when my dirty, untrustworthy wife called me, told me your little story, I say he doesn't have balls. He has a dead wish. He wants my money and my wife. I would like to give my money back and you can keep this useless cunt. Так, ты говорила правду. Впервые за все, как я обещал. Don't do that. How much is in there? And I know what the number is supposed to be. If it's close enough, I'll let you live. 
be my guest. Get on the fucking ground and look at him. You know what Stockholm Syndrome is? It's an emotional connection to a captor formed by a hostage as a result of continuous stress, dependence, and a need to cooperate for survival. All right, I know a drug addict when I see one. And you, drugs are the least of your worries. You wanna know what's really making you crazy? Huh? It's this piece of shit right here. That's what's causing your problems. But you know what? I'm gonna give you a chance to fix that. Come on. Pull the trigger. Free yourself. Pull the trigger. I guarantee you'll never need another pill again. If I do it, if I do it, it means nothing, all right? If you do it, if you do it, it means everything. Tough being in that window recovery. Without you, I don't think I would have made it out that place. Rehab ain't for the weak, and we both know Liz is far from weak. The question is, how hard are you both willing to fight your addictions? Our addictions. Yeah, you too. Liz might have it easier, her addiction's tangible. But you, brother, that need for trouble? It's up here. Liz.